It seems like the financial problems for Disney are just never ending. Theme parks are failing, movies bombing at the box office, the cruise lines failing. I mean, just all these other problems with their money. Having to think about selling their IPs and everything else just to make some extra money. Uh, metaphorically speaking, they're turning over the couch cushions looking for any extra change. They're that desperate. They are essentially the poster child of a company that thought they were too big to fail. And if you're a Disney investor, well, Man, you got the upcoming investors meeting. It'll be very interesting to see how Bob Iger is going to explain this. <laughs> try to try to spin this. Try to spin this and make it some kind of oh, it's not that bad, you know. But it says here on uh, Seeking Alpha, it says Disney may have lost the plot. Investors risk losing money. No kidding. Despite uh, decent financial results in the first half of the fiscal year 2023, Disney's recent box office disappointments, reports of low theme park traffic, and controversial content decisions raise concerns about its future performance and current valuation yep no kidding <laughs> continuing on in the article disney lost four million streaming subscribers in quarter two with the majority of losses from india it also experienced a decline in north america north american subscribers which could be their early warning signs of future issues the company's increasing ideological content and lack of diversity uh, lack of diversity of viewpoints within leadership could potentially hurt the brand as evidenced by recent controversies and potential backlash from more conservative customers yeah like me supporting a law that allows teachers to homosexualize children Continuing on the article, while Disney has reported some overall decent results in terms of earnings in the first half of the year of fiscal 2023, some box office disappointments, uh, reports of light traffic in the same parks, and a few other factors put its ability to maintain the earnings trend for the rest of the year in doubt. It raises questions about the current valuation, it's, which is already ahead of the overall market. The seeming gathering clouds of controversy over some Disney's content decisions also threaten to negatively impact its future outlook. It may also it may already be impacting its financial performance, which we might see reflected in the coming quarters. Oh yeah, and it's gonna get worse and worse and worse. When you're having to think about selling your IPs, it's gotten pretty bad. So this upcoming investors meeting that's gonna be happening, it would be very fun to see how Bob is gonna to have to try to explain this to them. You know, try to spin the narrative as he, you know, because last time he was he was questioned about the role of the woke SJW ideology, and he tried to sp he tried to like just go on this whole monologue. It was kind of it was really hilarious. A typical CEO, but. You know, nothing good whatsoever. You're an investor of Disney. You're going to be losing some money in in uh, the near future because they are failing on all fronts financially. Nothing good whatsoever. And part of it can be attributed to the fact that their woke SJW ideology, they slip into all their, their alleged kids' films. See, go woke, go broke is not just a vain, empty phrase. It's just a blunt reality that a lot of these blue-haired feminist weirdos on the on, and lesbian weirdos on Twitter seem to fail to acknowledge. See, they're not the majority. See, what they do is they make such a fuss and such a racket that they give the impression that they're the majority opinion. But the silent majority is keeping, is basically protesting by keeping our wallets closed and it's evident by the failure of Disney. So, I wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.